Hey boys and girls, welcome to week one of season two of Dragon Ball Z League, the first week. And I am joined tonight by my co-announcer, Inferno Canuck. Hello everyone. And we are ready to go. Um, the first match tonight is Team Namek versus the Blaze. The Blades are a new team. This is their Dragon Ball Z League season debut. Uh, versus oh, the, the veteran Namix. So this will be interesting. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of high hopes for Team Blade. So um, we're going to have to... Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The, a lot of people think Team Blade's going to be a, a dominant force in the league. Oh, excellent. So this is going to be an interesting match. Let's uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, whoa. Get her started. Hang on. <laughs> it would probably help if I have it uh, recording at 60 fraps. Just saying. Yeah, why... <laughs> People love watching things at 20 fraps. There we go. And we're going to do a random field, and let's get it on. First match of Season 2. It's exciting. Oh, I'm, I'm excited right now. I'm I'm quite interesting. Uh, last time I was able to be a guest commentator, there were quite a few upsets, so I'm hoping it'll happen again. Indeed. Me too. And we're starting out with us. We... I'm sorry. The, what? the, the teams. The the, the uh, which team are you uh, most interested in right now? Uh, Earth defenders. Between these two. My team. Oh, between these two. Oh. Uh, between <laughs> these two, I'm really just interested in seeing how it goes. Honestly, I think um, I'm going kind of. I think Namek's going to pull this out simply because Namek is a really solid team, and a lot of people said they've been uh, struggling of late, but I think that they're going to um, come in strong. I really do. No. Oh. But uh, but uh, so Yajirobe's going to work on uh, Team Namek, uh, on Nail, and the 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 big thing with the Blades is that they all use swords in their combos, as you can see Yajirobe doing. Uh, I can. Yeah, not at the moment <clears throat> though. Right now he's getting kicked in the face with the foot. <laughs> That's probably a tactic that he does want to keep the entire match. No. <laughs> probably wouldn't do too well. No. no probably not. No. But right now, it seems like they're neck and neck. Their power levels are very similar. Indeed, they're both at max power, too. Let's see if someone pulls out an ultimate. Oh, here we go. Miracle Kabam Slash. Not an ultimate, but... No, it is an ultimate. And he connects! Mm. Very nice. Wow. 13,000 points of damage, even though that sword never even touched him, oddly. <laughs> <laughs> And Nail responds sword. with a full power energy wave. And Yajirobe's at full health. I mean, max power again. Um, wow, even after that ultimate, Nail managed to make it an even fight again. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Uh, well, Yajirobe hit him with the Kabam, sl Kablam, Kablam Slicer, but it didn't do that much damage. Oh, that's a shame. With a name like the Kablam Slicer, you'd hope that it would do something a little bit more substantial. Indeed. And uh, they both have Dinde's Healing, one of the new special abilities, so um, they're hmm. both slowly recovering health, um, which is, gosh, it's making this a really even fight. Extremely even, yeah. And you see... Uh, this will be down to the wire. And you see Nail also has an ability that makes him hard to stun. You saw Yajirobe uh, hitting him, but it wasn't really affecting him mm -hmm. any. It gives him a, an advantage in melee combat. And uh, Nail is slowly pulling in the lead. No, no. It's still an even fight. <laughs> Look at that. No, no. I don't know who's going to win this. This has become a... This is a nice match between these two. Oh, Nail. Yes. Nail. Is Nail going to finish him off? Yes. And Nail takes out Yajirobe after uh, a very close oh, wow. fight. Very much so. Well, there's a lot more fighting to do. And then he style, tags so. out. Hmm. Clever strategy, actually. Oh wow! Nice move by uh, late Piccolo, with special beam cannon. Uh, Trunks Sword Trunks has a uh, savior, which makes him tag in at uh, max power. So we'll see if he has a chance to use it. You okay there, Inferno? Yeah, sorry, I was just coughing, so I muted my mic. I see, and the Lightning Sword Slash connects! Wow, for 14,000 points of damage, what a powerful move. Oof. And then he tacks on another 1,000. Wow. And Late Piccolo is now fallen behind. Oh, he dodges the, uh, whatever that move was. 
<laughs> the thingy with the stuff. Yeah, that one that thingy. Sounding like me, Squeak. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, but he dodged it. And that the one green thing. Guy is beating the purple hair guy. <laughs> and uh, Piccolo trying to close this back in. Um, Piccolo is at max power. And let's see if he'll use it. Is he gonna pull out his uh, hell zone grenade or and then we got an even fight now? Oh, burning storm! Ouch! Five thousand points of damage from Ooh. sword trunks. And uh, nice. yeah, and it looks like Piccolo's not gonna use his ultimate. Oh no, he's That's gonna use a special beam can. Ouch! Jeez, Louise! 13,000 oh, points of damage. Has nothing to do with that and that's really, you gotta fault that on Trunks. Trunks literally just stood there and took it. I mean, he let that's him even shame. charge it up. <laughs> uh, and with the added, uh, with the added uh, damage bonus since he was in max power, that was almost an ultimate level move right there. And down mm. goes Trunks. Wow. Oh dear, this does not look good for the blades. No, it's not. I called it. Well, that's not true. It's not over oh, yet. Hey. Tapion hasn't even come out yeah, yet. Yeah, the fat lady hasn't sung. Now, Tapion yeah. is, is a beast, and he hasn't even come out yet, so... There you go. But uh, that special beam cannon really kind of turned that match around. Trunks had all the time in the world to dodge that. Mm-hmm. And, Maybe uh... He was distracted by something. Yeah, and Yajirobe looks like he's uh, tearing Late Piccolo apart now. Man. Ter he's tearing him a new Piccolo. If yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, apparently. Um, wow, and, apparently. And, and late Piccolo has barely even touched him. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like Yajirobe has almost taken down two bars with almost, well, I was going to say with barely even being touched, but man. A light grenade from Piccolo connects for 5,600 points of damage. And. Yajirobe, not Yajirobe, uh, Janimbi goes maximum power. Let's see if he uses an ultimate. And Late Piccolo wisely tags out. And a uh, nice dodge by uh, Janimba, and then another dodge by Slug. So, yeah. <laughs> Janimba going to work with his tail. Almost a, a Frieza type move right there. <laughs> Yes, a Frieza move. Indeed. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Inferno, I, I just, I've been noticing this. For some reason, the, the longer you don't talk, the louder the static gets. I don't know why. So, talk. No, 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 talk constantly. Oh, okay. Yeah, just keep talking. Const oh, I don't think they want to hear me constantly well, talk. Well, you know what I'm saying. I'll do my best. Yes. Um, and it looks yeah, like, uh, looks like uh, John Imby is... Well, it's a pretty even fight, but John Emby's been pretty impressive so far. Ouch. I say as he gets pounded in the face. <laughs> oh, dear. Ugh. <laughs> well, uh... His face, that's the, that's the money shot. <laughs> no! My modeling oh, career! <laughs> exactly. But, uh... Somebody tells me they'll never be a model. Still, even though this is a fairly even fight, you have to remember Janimbi already took it down about two health bars of late Piccolo. So Janimbi has oh been, uh, like I said, been rather impressive so far. And uh, Tapion hasn't come out yet, so this this fight could still go either way. Excellent. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If you say so, at least, Squee. Uh, hang on one second. Commentary. Hang on. And after a slight uh, break, we're back to the action. A small, a small stop for a word from your sponsor, or something. <laughs> and this one was Brill Cream. <laughs> and Slug, wow! Brill cream. Slug goes giant and then busts out with an explosive wave. A smart wow. move from Slug. And John Inby tags out. In comes Tapion. Hmm. Now, as we found, Tapion. yeah, as we found, Giant Form when the season started last time. We used to think giant form was such a major advantage, but we find that even though you're powerful uh, and you're not stunned easily, you're a huge target. So it, it has its uh, oh. weaknesses along with its strengths. And it looks like Slug is gone. Wow, Tapion taking him out. Awesome. And well, in comes early Piccolo. Side you're on. Right. And a nice dodge from Tapion. Another nice dodge from Tapion. 
so they only this is the last a full fighter for that team, right? Uh, you oh. mean uh, early Piccolo? Yeah. Yeah, Correct. early Piccolo. Yeah. And and from Team Blades as well. In fact, oh, the, yeah, the only one Team Blades have left is Tapion and John Nimby. Uh, Yajirobe and, and uh, Trunks are gone. Whereas uh, Namix still have everyone, I think. Well, except for Slug. No, they still have late Piccolo and Nail. And early Piccolo. Hmm. Yes. And, uh, wow. And, uh, we've had a fairly even fight so far. Late pick, uh, Early Piccolo so seems far. to be doing better. Um, ouch. Nice combo from Early Piccolo. And Early Piccolo has Dende's healing, which is an advantage. Almost all the <laughs> Namics have yeah, Dende's yeah. healing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, mm -hmm. a nice yes, defensive move it. from Tapion. The, the hero's flute basically blocks anything. Oh. Oh, nice hit from Tapion. Oh! A nice hit? Oh. Another nice uh, nice hit from uh, Piccolo. Tapion tried to counter, but didn't make it in time. And uh, early Piccolo pulls in the lead. And uh, it, it looks like Team Namek's starting to take control of this fight. Oh, fantastic. No! Tapion well, tags out! Here for Team Namek. Wow, Tapion tags out with uh, two bars of health left. That could be a game changer right there. And uh, John oh, Nimby at max to, power. And if John Nimby pulls out his ultimate, which he's doing now, he connects! Oh. Wow, an impressive ultimate. Whew! For 11,000 points wow. of damage. Um, as far as ultimates go, not that strong. But impressive looking. Yes, it looked very pretty. Oh, and another hit from John Nimby, and, and early Piccolo is struggling now. And this is anyone's game again. It's continuing to be close now. That's that's fantastic. It is. The best battles are always the closest ones. Indeed. They're always more entertaining to watch. And, um, yeah, everyone was saying that Blade pretty much had this, but like I was saying, even if they win it, Namek's were... I think people were short-selling Team Namek. Um, and this is now anyone's game. Oh, really? Nails, Nail it comes is. out strong, and Janimi tags out. Tapion tags in, and... Wow. Wow, Tapion busts out with a hero's flute, which completely negates Nail's blast. Really oh smart move from Tapion. That was incredibly impressive. And a strong attack from <laughs> Tapion. Nail's almost gone. And Team Blade is taking the lead now. Oh. Wow, and down goes Nail. What a comeback from Team Blade. That's that is a very good first showing for their first match. A light grenade connects! And now it's up to late Piccolo, but Dende's healing is getting late Piccolo back some health, which is a really good move for him. Uh, late mm -hmm. Piccolo's at max power. Can he use it? A hell zone grenade. If this connects, this could turn the whole match around again. No, it doesn't connect. Wow. The hell zone grenade no, is doesn't. such a tricky move to get to work. Mm. Man, and, and late Piccolo has a lot of ground to cover, and it looks like Tapion's going to try and not let him do it. Oh, those blades uh, completely miss late Piccolo. Ooh. Oh man, but late Piccolo just can't keep up. Wow, and we got some blazing melee combat going on here. Blazing melee? Yeah, and he takes down Tapion, but he's only got a quarter of a health bar left. Can he take down John Nimby with only a quarter of a health bar? Oh, we'll have to... Oh, ouch. Sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. And it's over, folks. What a close match. That was very close. Very entertaining. Man. Very, uh... Very good way for the Blades to test the water, so to speak. For indeed, the rest of indeed. The now, I had I had Namek winning this, and, um... I think that my pick wasn't really off. Uh, I mean, they... They... They were really close, and it looked like for a while there they were going to take this home. Man, mm -hmm. but an amazing comeback from Team Blade. Yeah, we'll Woo. have to see these two teams rematch later on in the season. No, they don't. They don't? I no, mean, no. that's a shame. Every, everyone <laughs> fights everyone once, so... I see. <laughs> All right. Well, then, in the, in the postseason. Yes, Maybe, yes, yes, in the postseason, perhaps. <laughs> All right, on to match two.